What's up, ladies and gentlemen, especially my iPhone users out there and iPad users and overall iOS users out there. Basically, you guys usually go on YouTube when you have a problem. Sometimes those problems have to do with simple issues like how do I record my screen? Other times you have the blue screen of death and you're completely freaking out. Well, what if I could tell you that basically there's one piece of software out there that could potentially solve every problem as they happen and trust me every iPhone user knows aside from smashing your screen to bits technical issues are pretty common and they happen on more or less a monthly basis for some people especially the older your device gets newer iPhones may not have certain issues especially if you have the latest version of iOS but as your iPad gets a little bit older and your iPod gets a little bit more obsolete you know, maybe it's good to have software ready just in case you're about to go to a meeting and your phone decides to get the blue screen of death. So what is this piece of software that basically solves everything? Well, as you guys can see, it's known as iSkySoft's Toolbox for iOS. Also, special shout out to iSkySoft for sponsoring today's video. As you guys can see, there's data recovery, system recovery, data backup and restore. There's even certain data restore features and backup features for WhatsApp, Kick, Viber, Line, and a few other things. For example, there's full data eraser and private data eraser. Finally, there's even a screen recorder, which is pretty awesome. So what exactly can this fix? Well, first of all, if you ever lose data on your phone, then of course, you can go and fix this. Now, sometimes we accidentally delete things other times Apple does it for us when we try to get their software updates now Apple did just release a new version of iOS and in this version of iOS they completely changed up the file structuring system inside of iOS which on the bright side basically led to a lot more space because you know every single person who has a 16 gigabyte or worse 8 gigabyte device never seems to have enough space well they solved that on the downside, a few people did have issues when it comes to data recovery and being able to get back the files that they lost. So once again, if you are going to go and attempt to get that piece of little software, then of course you might want to use this awesome piece of software to back up everything first. Now if you forget to back up, you can of course go and connect your device, scan it, and attempt to repair it or, of course, recover some of the data that you lost from an iTunes backup, an iCloud backup, or even just straight from your iOS device. Now, of course, recovering data is all fun and games. However, what if you want your device to come back to life because it's stuck on maybe like the Apple logo or a blue screen or a red screen or a green screen or just stuck in a boot loop in general? Well, as you guys know, there is a system recovery option right here, and this should be able to quickly fix most of the issues regarding your iPhone without too, too much trouble on your end. Finally, there's the handful of us who are going to be selling our iPhones soon so we could get ourselves a brand new red iPhone 7 because who doesn't want one of those? So if you're one of those people and you're about to sell your iPhone 5, then of course you're going to want to erase all your personal data and not just a typical restore, a full data restore where all your personal information probably and hopefully cannot be brought back. Well, in this case, you'd use the full data eraser. It permanently erases all personal information from your device and makes it brand new, but there's also a private data eraser eraser where you basically get to choose and select what type of data is deleted on your phone and of course it's a good way of protecting certain data on your phone as you guys know. Now I will say this if you want to do anything anything from WhatsApp transfers to Viber backups to system recoveries you will need iTunes installed on your Windows or of course Mac device. Now with that said guys I'm going to simply show you what each of these looks like as you guys can see it simply connects to your device and then attempts to recover the device itself however my device is perfectly fine so once again I'm not going to be fully trying most of these so then again there is the system recovery so of course I could go and start this right now and it would try to go and fix everything that is potentially wrong with my iPad unfortunately there is nothing wrong now of course data backup and restore I'm going to let this one connect and I'm going to actually show you guys what exactly you could go and restore Alrighty then, so we can actually go and restore messages, attachments, contacts, call history, notes and attachments, calendar and reminders, Safari bookmarks, WhatsApp and attachments, messenger, photos, Viber, voice memos, app documents, app videos, and of course all your photos, even voicemail. So basically everything on your device can easily be backed up 
directly from here. Simply hit backup and it will go and make an awesome file that can easily be recovered using the software later. Now of course I'm simply going to take a look at WhatsApp transfer. I'm not sure how many people are going to be going and using this but it does look like this. There you go, backup WhatsApp messages, restore WhatsApp messages to iOS device and you are pretty much set to go. However, here's something interesting. If you do go and backup your WhatsApp messages, you can actually go and uh, restore them onto an Android device, not just iOS devices. So that is pretty awesome. And then there's the full data eraser. It looks something like this. So there you go, it says my iPad Air, and if I were to say hit erase, it would basically bring my device back to, well, its brand new state. There's the private data eraser, and in this case, I should be able to choose what I delete. So there you go, it's going to ask to start a scan, and afterwards it will give me options on what private data I want to get rid of. Finally, I'm going to show you guys the coolest feature, which is of course mirroring your display. Now this is going to help a lot of you potential YouTubers out there, or maybe your viewers out there. So this is a screen recorder, and it will cast your iOS screen directly onto the PC. So I'm going to hit this right here, and let's see how fast this works. So it's going to say swipe up from the bottom of the page. Alright, so I'm going to go onto my iPad, sorry you guys can't really see this. But the instructions are on the screen and they are relatively straightforward if you've ever used a screen recorder in the past. Hit airplay monitor, uh, mirroring and then of course hit iSky. Now as you guys can see my screen is fully on here. Now unfortunately some of you guys might ask will you be able to control it from here. Unfortunately the answer to that is a no but you can make it full screen and you can go and play around with your iPad and you should easily be able to do anything that you do on your iPad and mirror it directly back onto here. How awesome is that? So anyone who's looking to screen record which the option is right here. There you go. It will start a screen recording and the file should appear right around here. There you go. I'll play that back real quick. So anyone who's looking to do that, simply get this software and you should be set to go. Now there doesn't seem to be any lag overall, so I'm pretty happy about that. That's number one. And number two, the screen recorder function is built in, which is really, really awesome. So there you have it guys, 10 awesome blocks full of awesomeness that basically can do everything that you ever needed your iOS device to do in times of turmoil and sometimes if you're just looking to have a little fun with a screen recorder. So with that said, leave a like on the video and go check it out below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. This is going to be me logging off.